What is quantum computing, and how is it different from regular computers? To understand quantum computing, you first need to know how today's computers work. Every computer you use – phone, laptop, tablet – processes information using bits. A bit can be either zero or one, nothing in between. It's the foundation of the digital world. Quantum computers use qubits instead of bits. A single qubit can be both zero and one at the same time, thanks to a quantum phenomenon called superposition. Imagine a coin spinning in the air. While spinning, it's not heads or tails, but both at once. Here's why that's revolutionary. While a classical computer has to check all possible combinations one by one, a quantum computer can check them all at once. To find a specific number in a phone book with a billion numbers, a classical computer might need up to a billion tries. A quantum computer would need only the square root of that, about 31,623 tries. That's the difference between seconds and years. Another key quantum phenomenon is quantum entanglement, a connection between qubits that allows them to instantly affect each other, regardless of distance. Einstein called it spooky action at a distance because it seemed impossible to him.